All right, so quite a few questions around how we put some of these elements together in the Effective Meetings course. Uh, what's funny about this is that it's actually one of the more simple projects. So let's just look at how we put the background together. So a lot of these backgrounds, uh, a lot of folks have asked about how we how we did this. Uh, what's really cool is actually did everything in Storyline. And it's actually, um, I think, a little simpler than it may look. So I'm just going to, a couple ways I can do this. I'm going to jump into my Slide Master. So I'm going to press F4. And here's, let's just take one apart. You see, we see I have a couple different versions of it. But really going for that comic book look. So what is this? This is just an oval, right? So insert shape, and then I just one of these, right? And obviously, uh, in this case, it's white. So I filled it with white. And then re re reduce the opacity. So right-click, format, shape. I do need to take that line off of it. No line. And then back up here in the fill, just drag that up. And what's neat is you can actually play with a couple uh, different shades. So I think most of these we had just one, but I don't think that makes a difference. I think you can actually bring in a couple and then uh, change some of the uh, the transparency. I'm going to bring up the timeline though just so I can show you how some of these are layered. So I'll, I'll delete the one I just created. So that's really where that swoosh comes in. And because Storyline makes the um, really arranging these objects so easy because we can drag them uh, around the timeline, I can ensure that all of these hide behind this this kind of the floor graphic that we created. So if I move this down, right, that's just a white graphic and then a, a off gray. And uh, I think they're really, the, the, and this really an example of what brings it together is the color combination. So we have the off white, which is really the white with the, the, the transparency, this grayish color, and then this really light blue. And then combined with the way the, uh, the characters look, the illustrated characters, everything really seems to pop. Now we did play with quite a few different ones. I think here is one that we had where we actually worked with some some different types of shapes, right? So in this case, it was more of a of a square or kind of a more of a rounded rectangle. And just playing with some basic shapes right here, created some of the uh, 3D room effects, right? So this is just a, a perspective graphic with another a border down there. But super simple. Um, I'll go ahead and make you know a couple of these files available. But uh, really just playing around with shapes, and it really comes down, in this case, really the oval, and then some of these floor looks where you have the white floor and the different position. And, and what we did really on a lot of these was just mix up the position of that oval, and you could see some other attempts over here. I think this one's actually available in our download section, but uh, like this sort of thing is just playing with different angles. And, and really what it is, it's actually below, right, the floor, right? So this is the floor right here, this is the oval down there, and just having it underneath, means that we don't see anything come through on the actual floor. I, I guess you could look at, right, bringing it over part of the floor. So it actually covers part of the floorboard right there. Uh, and it gives like a little bit of a spotlight effect on the actual floor. But uh, in our case, we actually went through and put these all uh, beneath the floor. But uh, I'll go ahead and put some of these available in the forum. And then if you have any questions, just uh, follow up.